Next, I quickly wanted to talk about this. This is an interesting one because I don't really know what's happening and what the resolution for something like this is, but it seems like academics is legitimately decided to basically, you know, light a fire under his ass and just go in on Adam 22 and no jumper and he's not having it anymore and I think this comes off the back of Flacco who's on no jumper interviewing his guy called Satan Sinner who's been pretty critical of academics online and I think he was the first person to really kind of call him out when he did that whole argument with these girls in some casino somewhere where you were screaming I'm the prize I'm the prize and looking really crazy and all that malarkey and I think he was saying some mad stuff on the Fresh and Fit podcast and this content creator creator on youtube called satan sinner basically was using the opportunity to basically jump on the clout thing and essentially ride his wave and be the one or two dissenting voices very vocal dissenting voices essentially saying academics is a nerd he's a geek this proves that he's only getting girls because he has money and this is how you act when you were never cool before and just really really going hard and really going in on him for the most part and if we know anything about dj academics he's like he's really very very successful he's done amazing to build his platform platform from the ground up he's done even amazing i feel like more so in terms of turning the public perception around him because i feel like there was a time when everybody hated him for sure but i feel like a lot of people now tolerate him or enjoy their or enjoy his content and they aren't afraid to say they watch his stuff the rappers that go on his show and his podcast so clearly he's done a good job in terms of turning that tide um around but in general what we do know about academics he is kind of insecure he does seem to really fly off the handle when anybody kind of calls him out. And for me, that's always really a sign of insecurity when somebody's prone to go all the way to 100 at the slightest hint of a diss or a slight or an insult of any way, shape or form. And obviously when it hits home, it's going to be a little bit more poignant. And I think this Saint and Sinner guy, even though he's clout chasing a little bit, maybe a lot, you know, which... I, you can't really blame the guy because I think if academics was him, he'd probably do the same thing. But because this Sinner Saint Sinner guy is clout chasing off the back of him and, you know, he's calling him out for stuff that's actually true. And a lot of people kind of, you know, recognize, I think a lot of even Axe fans were saying that that whole video with the girls was really corny and lame. He's decided now that anybody who interviews him is basically an op. And obviously Flacco being his protege, and being somebody who kind of looked up to act going on no jumper and interviewing him and essentially giggling along when he's kind of insulting academics, I can see why it didn't sit well. I said at the time when the interview dropped with Flacco and that Satan and Sinner guy, this is not going to end well. This is really a bad look because academics seems the type of person where if you talk with or hang around with people that he doesn't like, he's going to bark on, bark on you completely. He commands or demands actually 100% loyalty, which is weird because I don't feel like he gives that to other people really. He kind of goes where the bag goes. So for him to demand loyalty from people like that is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit iffy, but you know, everyone's got their things. And yeah, I guess he saw the interview finally that Flocker had with Satan and Sinner. He sat down finally and watched it. He didn't like what he saw. But then in the process of dissecting that and getting angry at that, he's decided to just go ham at flipping Adam 22 and Lena, his wife. And for me, I'd see this sort of stuff and I'm like, whoa, in no way, shape or form, is there any kind of comeback from this where you can just say sorry? This might have to be one of the situations where you kind of say, hey, we've got to shoot a fair one just me and you there's no way you can say this about my you know about the mother of my children and me as a person and think everything's going to be okay but adam and academics have a really strange relationship i'm not really sure what's going on but this is academics um part of his stream where he starts barking at the um, adam 22 and leonard the plug nigga i had to go create some shit nigga when, when i was creating my shit adam was begging me for begging me to fuck his bitch nigga that's his wife now nigga i ain't trying to Whoa. disrespect this chick but that's what it is nigga you over here sitting up like a simp nigga i'm over here doing what i do all of y'all niggas came under act so i'm trying to tell y'all y'all tell me what it is do y'all want act to be act or do y'all want to show some respect because i'm all for everything i ain't fucking with that and i ain't gonna lie flaco you could blame adam because adam sent me a message and when Adam said, yo, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga was sold you out. Oh, damn, Jesus and I ain't gonna look at, I ain't gonna lie. Adam said that, and I, I looked at him, I said, damn, I thought Flacco was my nigga. And I said, man, niggas must think I'm really pussy out here. Fuck all these niggas. I never did, I never depended on all of y'all. Y'all niggas depend on me. Y'all niggas don't get no views. Y'all niggas don't do shit. I built everything I got. Let me tell you this. Y'all niggas don't get a motherfucking view if act on, on, on stream. So, 
as you can see, incredibly disrespectful and something that you would imagine most men wouldn't stand for in the slightest. But like I said, academics and Adam 22 have a really strange relationship because it kind of reminds me of this weird interaction they had on live stream, which happened a few years ago. I think it was maybe during the pandemic or maybe just before the pandemic. They, I think this was one of the first times they maybe spoke to each other at length on a stream or something and it was really weird because I felt like academics was really going hard and extra at Adam and basically trying to insinuate that Lena wanted a train ran on her or she did have a train ran on her just some very weird weird things and I was sitting there watching it at the time thinking to myself why isn't Adam barking back at this guy why isn't he standing up for himself a little bit why is he just letting academics just railroad him and kind of punk him out this way like what's the hell, what the hell is going on I never could really understand what the actual deal was and then I still don't understand what the deal is now but there is something weird going on there. I'm not too sure if Adam is intimidated by academics, whether or not he just wants to be cool and civil and he doesn't want to cause any drama. I'm not really too sure what the issue is, or maybe there is some truth in the whole train thing or what academics is saying about Adam, what, pimping out his own girlfriend or wife at the time or fiance to get clapped. I don't know what the hell's going on, but this is an old clip. This is taken from two years ago. I think it, maybe it's more than that because this looks a bit too old, but still, this is Adam 22 and, and academics going back to back on this live stream. And these are some really disrespectful things here also. Jo hold on. I can even <laughs> say it's This is an important point though, academics, is that what you've said about my girl during the course of this conversation is a thousand times more disrespectful than anything that I ever what? said about you previously. And, nope. and she's an innocent victim in all this, but you keep nope. talking about her. And it's like, I think everybody, nope. I've, I've seen a glimpse of the comments, but I think everybody seems to agree with me that your whole intentions in this conversation, intentions uh, seem a little weird. <laughs> I do have good intentions. Uh, no, my, my intentions is for you to realize that the next time you have Sarah Molina up, you either keep it at 6 9 because to keep it real, nobody wants to talk about nothing about her but 6 9 I can't tell you not to talk to, to right, her. Right, but again, you're talking hold on, hold on, about me on, literally. Really? Oh yeah, now I remember because that that was a time when academics was romantically linked to Selena Powell, and obviously um who's Six Nine's baby mother? I forgot they just said her name, but that's when they were going up on No Jumper a lot, and I guess at the time there was a lot of drama around Selena and academics, and people were clowning him for whatever, hooking up with her. And then they kept asking questions about academics, and she must have something disparaging about him. And this guy is really interesting, academics, because he's spends his entire or his entire platform is him speaking about other people right his entire platform is a hip-hop platform where he basically shares clips and interviews and promotes artists and gets paid by labels to put certain things up on there he's essentially like a you know a hip-hop magazine so he does all of that but then if you speak about him ill in in any kind of slight in any kind of you know just even reportage way he gets really 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 annoyed he can't seem to uh take that side of things which is really interesting i find um, I don't really know what the reason is maybe because again it's an insecurity thing but you can't be talking all that smack about other people and then when they speak about you you kind of fly off the handle in my opinion but then what do I know really having a, Bill, a, a, I'm going to guess two minute yo, conversation I hear, it, I hear that I hear that but I could get the chick that claimed that you raped her and have a two minute whoa, conversation with. I got whoa. and if you, if you end up talking to her for two minutes about me then I would think it was a strange decision and again I never raped anybody but again like I mean it just seems like a bizarre uh, conflation of things to, to compare you're right. So how about, I think I'm trying to mend this with you, Adam. I love you. I love what? You. you know, and I like you too, but I'm again, you keep yo, disrespecting my girl. And I, I think you owe her an apology to be totally honest. Cause I know so she's I, sitting oh, at home annoyed oh, by some no, no, of the stuff you said about it. You owe me an apology. Oh, you think you I owe you? I've already given you an apology during this, but again, I'm, I'm sorry for misrepresenting you oh and six nines, whatever encounter with Selena. I already apologized a long time ago, but I apologize during the stream as well. Also, as you say, you feel I owe whoever an apology. At least I'm only ever, I've never talked about any of these things because some of these things you asked me in privacy to take down and not mention. I right, which did. I did on her behalf oh, no, no. for the record. <clears throat> Yo, you have a whole video with three million views with Shorty talking about me on some fake shit. So I owe an apology? You owe me three million apologies. He said I owe an apology. You owe me three million apologies, bro. You owe me three. Hold on, hold on. I'll, let me see how many people watch this, my This life. could get that many views. So I feel like your side of the story is kind of out. Okay, you get the point, it. You get the point. But essentially, what I want to get to is that I think my confusion in this matter, or maybe the confusion of other people that are watching it, 
I think we conflate the idea that Adam 22 is a tall white dude with loads of tattoos with him being hard or with him being tough. I don't think that's the case. He's clearly not that guy and he clearly isn't about that time at all. I think if you've seen the video with Kelpie and you know that all my suspect essentially laying the putting the beats on Kelpie with his legs shaking and stuff you see the instant or the automatic reaction of Adam when the fight pops off is to kind of clench up and get all scared and stuff. So that's basically who he is as a person unfortunately in those moments of fight or flight he definitely went to <laughs> went to fly which is you know it is what it is in those moments you don't really know how you're going to react until it happens but I don't know I just would have expected something when it comes to the mother of your children and somebody who's going to end up being your wife that you would just have a line that if somebody crosses you just go beast mode right you just go red you see red nothing else can stop you you have to get your get back or whatever it may be i think of it the same way it's not with a bad kind of really bad connection but i'm thinking about it similar to what was going on with the kardashians and the balenciaga thing but the thing that really surprised me or maybe chuckle was that there doesn't seem to be a moral or principled line with them when that whole Balenciaga kids get happened even if they don't believe it to be true and they think it's overblown I just would have expected them to come out and say yeah as a mother this is something that I cannot stand for the foreseeable future I'll put my partnership with Balenciaga on hold and just make a definitive statement instead it just said some wishy-washy vague thing didn't really draw a line or anything it made me think wow you guys don't really have a line like it could be something involving kids something involving like you know insulting your Armenian heritage or whatever it may be and you would still do business with people because they put money in your pocket and maybe the same thing goes with adam because academics is good for business and even you know negativity around him or even him insulting you and your family is going to bring some eyes to no jumper and obviously increase what you guys are doing over there then it's all well and good but i just would have expected a little bit more from him given that but again there's probably something else in the background going on that i'm not really too aware of or that the viewers don't really know because i just don't understand you know even if adam is scary even if he is a bit intimidated, even if there is a, you know, we're not over there. I'm in the UK. So maybe there is something about academics and the industry behind the scenes that people don't really know about. And he's really powerful. He's got these connections. Who knows? But I just would have expected a bit more of a visceral reaction to somebody saying what he said about his wife live on stream and whatnot. It just really makes no sense to me. But again, you know, everyone's got their thing that they kind of stand on or don't stand on. And I would love to see how it plays out going forward.